This this kind of reminds me of the All Star game where Joe Kim Noah and LeBron James were on the same team. Noah threw LeBron and Oop, and he he had already talked about how much he hated the Heat and you know um, respected them as competitors, but hated LeBron and them boys. But when they were on the same team in the All Star game, they played together. So Siobhan, I I don't think I, I highly doubt we would see anything noteworthy. But you know what's that experience if you've had it, if, if where you've had to play on the same team as a competitor that you you know, got into it with in the past. So, oh, a bunch of this. And uh, Region Rev, the selection process was interesting. Shows the WNBA coaches realize their skill. Yes to the coaches part of it, and definitely yes to the interest. There, you we can have a whole separate, like, 30-minute discussion about what happened with all-star voting. Like, why were the Olympians <laughs> even there to be voted for? Why, just, <laughs> there's a bunch of things. Um, so the, to Bragg's question, you know, I will say it's one game um, and they are surrounded by the best of the rest of the WNBA. So you're not, you're, you're probably, you, you'll have the moments of like, Ooh, it's Caitlin AR pick and roll. Like, how's that going to, you know, what happens there or whatever, but yeah, there'll be extractable moments, but you know, they won't be the focus. Um, and yeah, you, you know, it'll be fun. I don't know that it changes um much internally to your point chris i definitely can see it being you know uh conversation swears like we've seen <laughs> caitlin fans have things to say when her indiana teammates you know have a less than desired outcome in a possession so i can see a bunch of oh angel smoke caitlin's 10th assist oh she's you know just all of kind of like that little chatter type of things but you know i i i believe that they respect one another um, but I do believe that there is at least on Angel's part, and I and I think it's a little bit rightful. I think that there is still some, you know, resentment behind the way that she has been talked about, the way that Caitlin has been talked about, the way that Caitlin's fans have talked about. Like I still think that there's something in Angel that, like, yeah, we're cool, you know, we're gonna have the show, it'll be a game, but end of the day, we are still competitors, we are still, you know, da 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 da. We have this history, I respect her, she's cool, but you know, I can respect from afar and keep a healthy level of, you know, competitive fire. And when it's Indiana versus Chicago, it's right back at it. Nothing's changed. I'm trying to send it into orbit, like, you know, and, and we're just right back at it. Yeah, I think I think you both, uh, like, just really hit on different parts of it that all kind of bring it full circle. My assessment of it has always been – <clears throat> these are two elite-level capital D all-caps dogs. Yeah. Kaylin hates to lose. Angel hates to lose. Yeah. Also, neither one of those two plays for the same team. Also, both of those two, just the way that the stars have always aligned, end up in one way or another in the way of the other. What else do you expect when you pin two dogs against each other so consistently? The only way to get a rivalry is when there's familiarity. And when there's familiarity that's naturally going to create storylines. That's just the way journalism, everything on the media side of things works. All we got these two players, every time they go against each other, there's some type of fireworks. It's always a competitive game. It has the draw in terms of attention. And they both genuinely hate to lose. That's what, that's what really fire starts everything else that comes down over the course of games with interactions that oftentimes get over-assessed. Nonetheless, <laughs> Those are two dogs, and I wouldn't expect anything less. When you pin Kobe Bryant up against any other superstar, you knew there was smoke. When you pin Michael Jordan up against any other superstar, you knew there was smoke. When you pin Diana Taurasi up against any other superstar, there's smoke. Same thing with Candace That's Parker. Cold. Same thing with Maya Moore. You can name any superstar, any, any person that had a huge draw coming out of their rookie class, even in college if they went to college. Any player that's going up against another super superstar close to, close to age or just generally speaking, they've always wanted to get the best of their opponent. It's just the fact that these two have seen each other so many times, stemming all the way back to high school. I'm, If I'm not mistaken, maybe even AAU if I, um, if I remember correctly, but the fact that they've just gone against each other so consistently, that's what's kind of leading up to what it is now. I think it's great for the league as long as it's continued to be kept basketball. And that's the only plea that I have in it. Keep it basketball. Keep it basketball. It's too much to talk about on the court to let it go elsewhere. Well, that's a, that's interesting too because when I, I happened to be in that Twitter space earlier, um, 
one of the people that came in when they were talking about the dichotomy between Angel and Caitlin is, uh, shout out to Drea from Jamaica. Uh, she said that she didn't think that Caitlin was as, as good of a W player because we'd seen more from Angel outside the lines, discussing things outside the lines, um, talking about uh, socio-political issues. And I think that's an interesting question, which I'm difficult to navigate because it matters. Like we all know it matters, especially in this league where players have stepped up in so many ways. We see it from Breezy Turner every day, Elizabeth Williams on a regular basis. Um, and so that's when I think you get into the question, which we're, we haven't talked about, which also takes way more than a 30 minute conversation to discuss is how, how much can and should that factor into how you carry yourself as an athlete and not just a basketball player. We all silly like the mayor. 